Namaste. Aries. This week you're going to grow horns and have to alter all of your hats. What a pain. In Taurus news now, you're going to start a pyramid scheme. Unfortunately for you, you accidentally start it upside down, which means that you end up having to make money for thousands of other people. And moving on to Gemini, you're going to develop a phobia of kinder eggs to the point where you have to go around the rest of your house, checking all the real eggs to make sure there's not a cheap plastic toy hiding inside. Careful. Cancer now, and the phases of the moon suggest that you're about to start seeing the ghost of Anne Boleyn everywhere. It's not yet clear whether this is a real ghost or just the failings of your disintegrating mind. <laughs> uh, classic cancer. Leo, you're about to become a controversial YouTuber and release a line of overpriced t-shirts with your classic phrase. <laughs> That's just my opinion on them. £30. Far too much money. Virgo now, and we can see from the sun's position that you're going to enter a hot dog eating competition and vastly overestimate your ability to eat hot dogs. You eat two hot dogs. Nobody is impressed. Sticking with food news and in Libra's circles, you're about to eat a whole pineapple just to prove a point. It does not end well. Scorpio, I can see from the phases of Uranus that you are about to make the most perfect cup of tea ever known to humankind. Unfortunately, you will then get distracted, leave it on the kitchen counter, and it will go stone cold before you can drink it. Sagittarius now and Jupiter's moon suggest that you fulfil a lifelong dream of swimming with dolphins, specifically the Miami Dolphins, the NFL football team. They do not enjoy it as much as you do. In Capricorn news now, something lovely and creative, you're going to start painting dogs on other dogs. Capricorn. Aquarius now, and you are going to start marry condoing everything in your house and only stop when you accidentally fold your cat. And last but not least, Pisces will discover a ancient, long-lost 1930s classic Disney cartoon in your loft. Unfortunately, it turns out to be far too racist for you to make any money off it now. Thank you very much, Star Children, and have a blessed day.